Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. We're continuing on with um, the Archon Quest. Very exciting, very exciting. Um, also, I would like to apologize for my last uh, video for the Archon Quest. My mic was kind of popping and peaking. I didn't notice it because I was too close to the mic, but now I'll be more careful about that. So hopefully it'll be better. Um, but yeah, last time our plan was in action and we left off with Nilu being a part of our plan or, or like we're gonna do Nilu's part of the plan which is very exciting so let's just get into things this is very exciting I'm, I'm very um I don't know I keep saying just excited for everything but like it's just so Nilu, interesting how's it going nervous Definitely more than usual, but it's because I'm worried I won't dance well enough. You always dance perfectly, Nilo. It's okay. Just focus on your performance. We'll take care of everything else. <laughs> you sure know how to talk. Taking all the credit, even though we came here together to help out. Well, it doesn't really sound like he's taking well, credit. thank you both. I'll have to treat you to a meal after all this ends. Oh, sweet. Real Ooh, that sounds great. Huh. How can we say no to that? I mean to interrupt her. All right, let's get back to business. Nilu, we'll be here to keep people from going to the academia so they don't interrupt your performance. Yay. I was planning on telling them something like, the academia has been conducting a weird experiment and some of their test subjects escaped. It's really dangerous there, so stay away. <laughs> oh, you couldn't think of anything better? Oh, oh well, I guess it does sound like something the Academia would do. <laughs> I think it sounds great. I'm counting on you guys. This is so adorable. Don't worry, it'll be a piece of cake. I feel like this is so wholesome to see everyone working together and just, you know... I don't know, everyone just seems so ha Like, even though it's like a sad, like, kind of hard plan to execute, everyone seems so wholesome together and happy. You know? Hey, Nilu! Sorry, it's great to see you, but I'm really busy right now. Our bait people away with Yalda Candy's plan is working beautifully. <laughs> Do you want some candy? We have more than we can give out. Vihar, thank you so much for doing all of this. And even dressed up as the Knight of Flowers, no less. I'll pass on the candy, though. I cut back on sweets in the period leading up to a performance, and I'm about to start one. Oh yeah, she does really like sweets. Uh, what is the little, like... She eats, like, the little thing. <laughs> you have a point. The stage is cleared and everything's ready, so you can start your performance at any time. Yeah, thanks to you. I'm really grateful. Alright, time to hit the stage. You're welcome. The honor's all mine, since I'll have such a great view of the show. <laughs> Ooh. I've never seen a performance like this. This is incredible. Yeah. This is what the academia is afraid of. That public performances like these have been banned. I can't believe she's doing this here. Wow. I'm getting close. Grand Sage, there's some commotion outside. Huh. How uninteresting. Issue the new Prohibition Act from the Akasha to the guards. They'll know what to do. Do you think we should, like, stop her? Let's just watch for a little bit longer.
we're back here. That was absolutely beautiful, though. Did you hear that? It sounds like a lot of guards just ran by. Does this mean the plan has moved on to the next stage? It sounds like it, Paimon. Yep, yep. It's great that everything seems to be going She's well. She's copying me. I swear, after I, I kept saying yep, yep, Paimon says it more often now. Come to think of it, when did all Haytham replace the knowledge capsule that was about to be entered into the Akasha? When he pretended that he's been corrupted. Oh, so that's when he did it! Yeah, I mean, it was pretty obvious, Paimon. Paimon was too nervous to notice. <laughs> Speaking of, didn't all Haytham also yoink the divine knowledge capsule from that mercenary leader in Port Ormos when everyone else was distracted? Yeah, he's pretty sneaky. Oh, it's a time-tested trick of his! Yeah. He maintained his composure when he when things get ca chaotic. <sighs> Why are we complimenting him? <laughs> yeah, he's smart and all, but he still makes Paimon's blood boil. <laughs> <sighs> Let's review our plan for this stage again. It's not like we have anything else to do right now anyway, and it'll help us feel more confident. Yeah. Paimon remembers that Nilo's task was supposed to go a bit like this. Now that Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness has been forcefully sealed, the core figures of the Academia and their guards have started to wear their Akasha terminals again. Mm. With the Doctor's technological support, they think they have nothing to fear. How despicable of them to rely on such a person. But this is also our chance. I was originally asked to draft the knowledge capsule for the Artistic Performances Prohibition Act when I was still at the Academia. Mm -hmm. It should be on the Grand Sage's desk right now, and will be entered into the Akasha during the next Niagarbaha day. Are they really going to stop all artistic performances? That's horrible! That is. I'll make an identical knowledge capsule, but this time, I'll smuggle some misleading information into it. We only need to find an opportunity to switch the capsules. Once it's been entered into the Akasha on Niagarbaha day, if someone were to be seen performing in public. The sages would definitely use that opportunity to announce the ban. And so, yeah. the misleading information will be disseminated amongst the guards. You know, no matter like how like weird or like annoying Al Hotham is, you can't help but like praise him. He's like very smart. He's very like, you know, he keeps his composure. He's, he's very sly too. It's very interesting, his character. It's like he he's like kind of like an anti-hero in a way. Like you, you, there are parts of him that are like very bad or shitty, but like he's also still like a good person in a lot of ways. Sure sounds complicated, but it seems like if everything goes well, we'll be able to get rid of all the guards in the academia without any effort. That's pretty clever, getting right into their heads. I just have one question. Even if we manage to get the misleading info out to the guards, how can we be sure that they'll believe it? They believe anything in the Akasha. People who are used to relying on the Akasha yep. become less inquisitive, True. and their ability to distinguish truth from misinformation is significantly reduced. They will view everything the Akasha releases to them as the unequivocal truth. The Akasha will turn humans into machines. Mm -hmm. I've seen it happen many times. Yikes. Good thing I didn't wear it for long when I was working in Sumeru City. At first, I thought it was a good thing, too. By the way, this plan still requires a performer, right? That's where Nilu comes in. Do you have in. someone in mind? Nilu of Zubair Theater. Yeah! I know her really well. We can trust her. I'm kinda hesitant to ask her to participate Oops, in a dangerous I... plan like this, but we can ask her in person. All right. After the guards in the academia are gone. Then it'll be time for me and my stowaway brothers to shine. You got it, Dia. I know you guys got it. There's no way we get to use Dia. No way. That'd be cool, though. Here they come. 
Did you they see just that, watched. Raman? They came out from the academia in droves. After laying low in the city for so long, this is the moment we've been waiting for. You guys got this. My brothers have already sprung into action. <laughs> we couldn't do anything to them inside their coop, but outside the academia, this is our hunting ground. With a lioness like you, the prey sure won't be able to run far. <laughs> <laughs> We still need to eliminate the guards as soon as possible. If we give the sages enough time to realize what's happening, the plan's doomed. Yeah, all they've done is to sit on their cushy salaries and twiddle their thumbs all day while we fought and struggled every day in the desert. The only advantage they might have is their numbers. You guys got this. Get your revenge. Speaking of which, most of the Stick guards who report them. directly to the six sages belong to the core of 30. But they have a completely different reputation. Following those blasted sages every whim, throwing away all the principles of being a mercenary. As someone in the same profession, I'm obligated to teach him a good lesson today. <laughs> Indeed, the trap has been set. All we need to do is lead them there. All right, let's each take a road and herd those scattered guards back into one place. Make sure to attract their attention. Isak will be the key. Isak? You gave such an important task to that child. Will he be okay? I believe in Isak. He got this. It'll be fine. Isak was so determined to help, so let's put our faith in him. Besides, even if he's caught, the guards would be too scared to do anything to him. They've never seen Lesser Lord Kusanali in person, after all. You've got a point. Anyway, I think I see them coming. Let's head out. Good luck. I love this so much. It's so cool. gonna probably go back to us <laughs> this feels like a um, reality TV show where it like cuts between scenes mm. <laughs> this outfit <laughs> he looks so adorable hey, it's so funny do you remember what you need to do Isak when the guards get here you'll pretend to be lesser Lord Kusanali and run away from them <laughs> oh yeah I remember of course I do I'm just a, a little nervous. <laughs> Relax. Don't think about getting caught. Even if that happens, we won't leave you behind. You know what this is? You know, it's like, it's like, Mom, can I have Lesser Lord Kusanali? We have Lesser Lord Kusanali at home. <laughs> you only need to think about getting the guards' attention and leading them to the Grand Bazaar. Leave the rest to us. Okay, got it. I'm here to pay back Lesser Lord Kusanali for helping Grandpa. I won't get cold feet. You got this, Isak. Hey, they're here. I can see the academia guard. All right, it's time, Isak. Take a deep breath and go. You can do this. Yeah. Are we controlling the kid? Oh, I guess we're just from his perspective. Why is there a guard over there? Did he already run ahead of me? Mm, this is different from our plan, but there's no time. I need to make a choice. Uh, hide behind the house. I think that's better because if we went the other way, he would see us, I think. This is going to make me panic. Oh, there's another guy. Mm. Let's have a look behind the house. Why would he do that? <laughs> what is this comedy? What should I do next? I don't know. Huh. Looks like nothing's here. A waste of time. <sighs> Luckily, he didn't check behind the tree. Hmm. The guard looks alert. What should I do next? Mm. Hey, stop! Oh, saw you! Don't I knew I should have waited. Oh, now I have to do. Okay, oh, I thought I had to do it all. The guard looks. I I was I wanted to take a risky move. Doesn't seem like anything unusual is around here. No one talks like this. Who who talks out loud like that? <sighs> looks like the guard finally <laughs> left. I need to go. This is so funny. <laughs> I love this. Lesser Lord Kusanali is over there! Stop! <laughs> what? 
Lesser Lord Kusanali. How did I not notice that? <laughs> this guy's funny. Uh, they found me. This is bad. Where should I go? Uh, Wait, maybe not towards the city. That's sorry. That might not be a good decision. Hey, not notice that. Sh shut up. I get, it, I get it. 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 That would make most sense. The target sense. suspected to be Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped into the Grand Bazaar. Assemble and arrest her. <laughs> Where did she go? How did she disappear? Did we lose her? Hurry up and find her! <laughs> hey, why is your team here? Didn't we say to split up our search? Hurry, hurry! <sighs> this place is... Why are you all here? <laughs> yeah, isn't it one heck of a coincidence? Everybody's here. What like a on one earth one is going family. on? I suppose that's all of you? <laughs> Who are you? Did you set us up? What are you planning? <sighs> Phew, that was rough. I almost got caught. You did get caught multiple times, and it was my fault. I'm sorry, Isak. <laughs> Little brat! So you're not actually Lesser Lord Kusanali. Who exactly are you all? Eremites from the desert? Just some colleagues. Think of this as a business competition, or a personal grudge. <laughs> After stepping into our traps, stop thinking of yourselves as hunters. Behave like the prey you are. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, dear. <laughs> I like the little footsteps. An ambush? How's that possible? This is Sumeru City, but mercenaries from the desert somehow ambushed us! Yeah. You've spent all your time hiding away in the Academia. This place has long since become our hunting ground. Brace yourselves! Enjoy your fight. Where are we now? Grand hmm. Sage. This is odd. Hmm, the Academia odd. has quieted down after the conclusion of the Neogarba Day ceremonies, but it's much quieter than usual. Where are the guards? Why have I not seen a single one? Guards? Guards! <laughs> Grand Sage, how may I be of assistance? I called for the guards. Why did you come? Uh, my, my apologies, Grand Sage. Right now, all Academia guards have entered the city to perform the ordered arrest. I thought you knew. Arrest? Who is there to arrest? I have an ominous feeling. Uh, arrest Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Is that not what the order was? Lesser Lord Kusanali? You mean she has disappeared? Uh, yes. I wouldn't dare make up something like that. Right now, everyone is in a panic, and many are saying that that lesser Lord Kusanali will take revenge on us. Of course she will. We're gonna kick your asses and make sure you guys never see the daylight again. What happened? Just what is going on? Lesser Lord Kusanali somehow escaped. Was it Alhatham and his party that freed her? That's impossible. The Academia is heavily guarded today, and any order to release lesser Lord Kusanali would be strictly confidential. Besides, Alhatham and the Traveler are already in our hands. That's what you think. What manner of trickery did they employ? How could Lesser Lord Kusanali disappear into thin air? Disappear? Wait. How was the arrest order distributed to the guards? It was issued by the Akasha earlier today. Only you have the authority to send messages like that, so I thought it was your order. Let me check. This is interesting. Ah, here. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Surasthana. Go to the city and arrest the escapee immediately. 
That's not the what that says. Indeed contains this information, and it clearly appeared in my mind. How did they bypass my permissions to issue this kind of message? Was it the report about the traveler that Alhatham submitted? No. I specifically checked that knowledge capsule before entering it into the Akasha. Could that have been a red herring? Well, even if I figure it out <laughs> now, it won't make any difference. The important thing now is to confirm Lesser Lord Kusanali's status. Have you been to the Sanctuary of Surasthana to confirm that Lesser Lord Kusanali has indeed escaped? Confirm? N no I, I haven't. It, it may be a bit offensive to say this, but Grand Sage, what you're saying doesn't make any sense. How can the information in the Akasha be inaccurate? What the Akasha decrees is fact. That is common knowledge to all of us. It's not always fact. You have to sometimes use your own knowledge, dude. If we have to confirm the information and knowledge from the Akasha ourselves, then how is that any different from us learning that information ourselves? <laughs> Wouldn't Greater Lord Rukadavata's legacy lose its meaning that way? No, it wouldn't. It'd be better because I think she would want you to learn from mistakes and, you know, know different things and be able to question things. In the beginning, it was I who asked you to believe in the Akasha, to believe in the legacy left by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Are you trying to use my words against me? Well, I mean, yeah, it's your own words. N no, Grand Sage. I'm merely confused because I believe in you. I never meant to refute you. <laughs> Stay here and see if there are any suspicious people around. I'll go to the sanctuary of Suristhana on my own. This is... I, I don't know. Y yes, Grand Sage. Will this be okay? Is this a part of our plan? I have to pause here because... Wait, what's happening? Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Surasthana. Go to the city and arrest the escapee immediately. <laughs> I think he's going insane. <laughs> How can that be? Stop thinking about it. Stop. There must be a trick of theirs. As long <laughs> as I personally confirm it. He's going insane. He's literally going insane. He's so ah. scared about his plans being messed up. Impossible. That's impossible. There must be something wrong with my eyes. <sighs> She's not there. Oh, there she is. Oh. Is she or is she not? What a comical sight is our. Oh. Sino. Oh. Once the Akasha has put certain thoughts into your head, even the Grand Sage can no longer see what's right in front of him. You all can only see the world in your mind, the one you think you know. And precisely because of this, you disregarded Lesser Lord Kusanali's existence. Yeah. She has been a wise and worthy Archon. Oh, that's so sweet. Sino, have you been waiting for a chance like this? The Akasha predicted that you would return to the Academia to confront me. But I didn't expect it to turn out like this. I was careless. Yeah, because the Akasha is not um, accurate. No, you were blinded. Your faults stem from your reliance on the Akasha. Mm -hmm. You're still the same as always. I truly did not expect a proud person like you to cooperate with all Haytham and the Traveler. People change, Azar. Yeah. Admit it. The Akasha can't predict my actions anymore. <laughs> then tell me, what have you found during your investigation? You want to buy time? This is the Sanctuary of Suristhana. Under your own regulations, even Academia staff are forbidden to come here. No one will come to save you. Wow. As for the investigation, I've at least confirmed that you are guilty of insurgency against the Archon. A serious crime. So what? Did you do all of this <laughs> so I would plead guilty in front of you, General Mahamatra? No. I want you to plead guilty 
in front of the Archon herself. <laughs> oh. You once said that I had no standing to judge you. So now, how about judgment in the name of a god? <laughs> wow. That's something. That's the first I felt like Sino was, has been intimidating. <laughs> that was powerful. So we, we just have to wait here. It's cool. It's chill. Paimon hasn't heard any sounds outside for a while. Hopefully something bad didn't happen. We must trust our friends. Yeah, but aren't you scared that we might be locked up in here for the rest of our lives? No. <sighs> Thinking about it, at least Paimon has you. We uh, could still chat like this. I'm just saying. You're going first. You're the emergency food here. When Paimon thinks of Nahida <laughs> being imprisoned alone in the sanctuary of Suristhana, Paimon can't help but feel sorry for her. See, we're free. We just had to wait a little bit. Dia! Here comes your savior. Thank you, Dia. Dia! Paimon just knew you would come to rescue us! <laughs> You're scared of me, what's just a moment ago? You two ago. really owe me some big thanks. I had to search through who knows how many guards to find the key here. It felt even more tiring than whacking them. I'm exhausted. <laughs> thanks a lot. Need Paimon to rub your shoulders? <laughs> what? Uh, no, n no, that's, uh, I I'll pass. <laughs> She's like, yeah, don't come near me, Paimon. What? Are you ticklish? Ugh, now isn't the time to talk about being ticklish. <laughs> How's Nahida? Things in the city and on Sino's side are both going well. The guards Let's that stormed go. out of the academia are all taken care of. The Corps of Thirty is in charge of the city's defenses, but we already talked to Asvand. They've been fed up with the sages bossing them around. Let's go! Everything's going perfectly. As long as it doesn't break now their we employment just need contracts, they'll turn a blind eye. We'll just need to take care of Baladir somehow. That's probably because you've been super great friends with them for a long time. So, how's Sino doing? The Grand Sage is in his custody. Ooh. Even I know how terrible it is to fall into Sino's hands, so he probably does too. Yeah, that's scary. Good luck to him. Sino forced him to release Lesser Lord Kusanali. He has no choice but to obey. <laughs> so, hurry to the Sanctuary of Suristhana. Assuming nothing weird happened, Hopefully. we should have already rescued our Archon. That sounds amazing. Honestly, I didn't expect our ragtag bunch to do this well. We just came together last minute to save the Archon, you know? Yeah, it's weird that nothing terrible has gone... has happened yet. Alright, you two better go. Not to jinx I anything. I still have to clean up some messes in the city. Sounds... See you around. Yeah, see ya. But I'm glad our plan is going well. You know, I'm still waiting for it to go wrong somewhere because, yeah, you know, that always happens. Time I'm to go. I'm wondering how like this is gonna <laughs> go because we still have to figure out everything with the balladeer once we see Nahida, I guess. You know? Oh yeah, this is our first time entering this. Ooh, wait, where is- wait, actually, where is Scaramouche's fight located? I actually haven't uh, seen that at all. I don't know. I guess I'll find out eventually. <laughs> She's free! Our child. <laughs> they say it's nice to meet you. No. This is the first time we've met in real life. It Before, is. we've only met in dreams, consciousness, or when I was in someone else's body. We finally meet Nahida. Thank you so much for coming to rescue me, but I also need to apologize. 
For, for what? You don't need During to apologize. During this time, I did some self-reflection. My sense of inferiority and yielding to the academia led to all of this, and created so much trouble for you all. But you wouldn't know better. You, you literally still kind of like a child, so you wouldn't know better. Don't worry about it. Exactly! We're here because you're a good Archon and one of our friends! Honestly, she's probably one of the best Archons. <laughs> Thanks, you two. <sighs> Amazing. So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. Oh, this is so sad. She's been locked up for so long. It's like I just had an endlessly long dream. I can't even tell if I just woke up or is only now born into this world. <laughs> my concept of self has become so clear. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> but now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this feeling. The academia. Um, this is really embarrassing. You all just rescued an Archon, and now she needs your help to save her country, and even the entire world. Hey, don't worry. That's our plan anyways. We we are literally on a venture to find my brother, but it's turning into our, our job to save the world. It's okay. <laughs> With you here, I'm unsure that everything will work out. Yeah, we're a thousand percent everything will work There's out. There's one more thing. What is it? What is it? For all what? the things the academia did to me, and for all the folly it committed in the name of wisdom, as their Archon, I will make them pay. As you should. But I still can't believe Paimon said exactly what I just said. Ah. Wow! That's the spirit! You're finally standing up for yourself and not letting people walk all over you! Yeah. <laughs> I understand now. To be a better Archon, I first need to better myself. If you haven't even figured out how to be a caterpillar, how can you be a butterfly? I guess... I guess so. Oh, uh, what is it? Yes, true. Hmm, that reminds me. I wonder how far along the Academia is with their God Creation Plan. I don't know, but I'm guessing pretty far. We need to hurry and prevent the birth of that false god. Hopefully... I need to make some preparations. I don't think we're going to be able to make Since it. Since I'm now free, I can establish a direct link to the Akasha and control it. Oh my gosh, yeah. First things first. I need to remove the restrictions that the doctor put on me in the Akasha. After that, I'll make some adjustments and revoke the sage's permissions. The Akasha Ooh. will then be like how it originally was, only operable by the Archon. After all, the Academia betrayed Greater Lord Rukadavata's trust. Mm -hmm. This might take some time. In the meantime, you should also work on your own preparations. I guess we're just gonna have to be prepared to fight a fake god. If we don't stop the god creation plan in time, we'll be in for a tough fight. Probably. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a pretty tough fight. I also should probably change teams before I do anything. You might as well prepare for a fight! Ooh. When we're done, we can take a walk around. After all, we missed out on a lot of stuff when we were locked up. Oh, wait, maybe I can find people to talk to. Um... I'm gonna do this off screen, but yeah. Should I continue the video? Okay, I'm actually thinking of ending the video. Um, I think that this is a good place to end. This will be a shorter one, but uh, I was talking to some of some of the people that you could talk to around the land. Let's talk to Raman, and then we can end the video because it's kind of interesting to hear what they had to say. How did you find the time to walk around? Did you manage to rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yep, yep. We did. She's handling some Akasha stuff right now. Mm-hmm. That's great. <laughs> Just now, Dia went to find Asfan, the senior consultant of the Corps of Thirty, and explained yeah, heard everything that. to him. In response, Asfan said, Why didn't you tell me earlier? If it was to rescue the Dendro Archon, we would have helped as well. <laughs> Aww. 
I didn't know we could have even counted the city guards of the Corps of Thirty among our potential reinforcements. It looks like we were a bit too conservative with our plan. <laughs> yeah, these voice lines are really cool. I'm probably going to try to find the rest of them after this uh, video. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I, this is a lot of fun. Um, everything's so interesting with how it's falling together. So we'll have to wait for the next video to see how things go and if I, I kind of know already because from the trailers if um, we're gonna be able to stop Scaramouche. Spoiler alert, um, if you've seen the trailers, uh, why is everyone talking? Very obviously um, we don't get to stop him but I'm, I'm excited to see how it actually like plays out and how how we actually like prevent him like I don't know what happens to him because I actually don't know so yeah um I hope you guys are excited for that uh have a lovely night day or whatever time it is for you that is it and bye